video, kind of like an overview. So right here you can see where I'm using a kill hole, or I guess, you know, like an advantage peak hole. My problem is, though, is I got the kill, but I stuck around too long. I waited too long. So eventually the enemies were alerted to anywhere I was. What I'm trying to say is you should always kind of keep moving. Yeah, so you're dead. Said I was going to die. But what I'm trying to say is you need to kind of keep moving and not really stay in one area or else they're going to find you a lot easier. That's a lot. You can see yourself a lot more vulnerable. I'll just throw in this little short clip showing like kind of barricading outer walls instead of ones that are directly on objectives to kind of slow people down or it's like right here you can see my teammates doing all the direct walls right on the objective this map's not really the best one to show an example but just a quick little video I'm just overviewing and throwing up tips as I go along like right here you can see where I don't tag the enemy that's one thing I see a lot of new people doing is tagging players I mean cameras most people know where cameras are but if they don't get tagged for some reason they just don't think to look to take them out so I'm gonna try to sneak up behind these guys <coughs> my luck will epically fail see and he actually eventually took out that camera but I just kind of skipped the video right here because I was checking cameras again. Another thing I want to talk about was communication, trying to communicate with your team. Whether it's random people, like right here I'm playing with completely random people, I'm on casual. But I, I tried her. to communicate because I didn't want her to get revived. Down dash on the stairs. Wait, wait, wait. You following down, you see the blood blood. Op for last, op last person's black beard, just stay Whether it's, the window. you know, I have randoms on my team or not, I always try to communicate and get shit <laughs> Communication is key on this game. You can, you can play some of the best players. It doesn't really matter how good you are. If they have oh, an advantage sucks. on you, knowing where you are, whether it be using drones, cameras, or communication from their teammates, if they know where you are and they have the advantage, they're generally going to be able to kill you. See here, I'm just trying to go through and take out cameras as I go. Ooh. I know it takes me a while to spot that black guy. I should have seen it right away, but <laughs> it is what it is. Oh well. But I've noticed a lot too. As destructive as this game is, see right there, I see the person. But as destructive as this game is, I've noticed a lot of people, for some reason, don't shoot through walls. Which I've found myself randomly shooting through walls a lot of times and actually getting kills because the fact that you can shoot through so many things. Like right there, I randomly sprayed through the wall, but in the end, I actually ended up getting a kill. And a lot of people I see forget to use their drones. Drones help you out a lot because you just have an idea where people are. <coughs> and you do have that second one after the brief period. So for some reason, like I said, a lot of people don't use it from what I've noticed. And I don't know if it's the new wave of players coming in due to the, the recent Halloween 75% off sale and 
got Operation Red Crow coming out on the 17th, so that'll be pretty fun. I know that's attracting a lot of new players. I tried, man, I tried. What's up? To locate the hostage. <clears throat> and I like using Twitch drone right there to take yeah, out yeah. cameras rather than trying Good to go shit. find the objective because the fact that you can run around and take out cameras during brief periods is going to help you out whenever you're actually trying to move in. You don't have to worry about taking out cameras. And I see a lot of people take the Twitch drone and directly just rush in an objective and try to tase people with it, which it only does 10 damage. So you're not really going to be doing a whole lot of damage. It's, you're going to do more damage to the enemy team taking out their cameras so they're not being able to see you guys rather than just kind of tasing them, doing 10 damage at a time. And you only have 14 shots per drone, so... And also being aware, like right here I noticed both my teammates got down downstairs. We've both injured our attackers. Good luck. The one v two. One friendly operator. Yeah, I know I'm a troll for what I'm gonna do right here. <laughs> Please don't steal my kill. <laughs> But anyways, guys, like, subscribe, and comment anything you guys want to see or talk about. Thanks for watching. You can't tell me none of these shots didn't hit, man. This is this is a Ubisoft. You play. Ten seconds left. Work on their uh, hit detection. Figure at least more of those other hit. But thanks for watching, guys. Time limit reached. Most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear